Beyonce and her family are definitely one of the most famous families in Hollywood, but if you've been paying attention, you would know that their family has almost the same amount of drama as the Kardashians, if not more. Cheating allegations, divorces, baby mama drama, and abandoned son, Yep, it's a lot happening. And word on the streets is that there is some bad blood between Solange and her father, Matthew Knowles, and they don't really see eye to eye. And chow, there is a lot to unpack here because their relationship is very complicated. Uh, was Matthew really leaking stories about Solange to the media? When you saw Beyonce, Solange, and Jay-Z and, and the security in the elevator thumping, what was your reaction to that? I, I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Be, I laugh so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's Solange. That's Solange. You just never know a what you're going to get. Firecracker. Don't know where she get that from. <laughs> now, not many people know this, but Solange wasn't always the refined woman she is today. She used to get into trouble a lot as a child, and she could barely stay out of trouble. But it turns out that she wasn't getting in trouble because she was just a troublemaker or that she just enjoyed getting in trouble. You see, her father, Matthew, focused all his energy on Beyonce, who was obviously his favorite kid. He started pushing B to be a superstar, putting her in training from a very young age. It was clear that Beyonce was his entire world, and in comparison, Solange was not exactly top of his list of priorities. Now, I'm not gonna say that he was a deadbeat or anything like that, but Solange had to earn his attention, and I guess this kinda explains why she was always getting into trouble. Matthew handled this very badly, but at least their mom, Tina, was smart enough to try to get Solange a lot of help early on before things got really bad. Tina revealed that she got Solange into therapy to help her deal with the pressure that came with being Beyonce's little sister. She said, it was tough. She was five years younger than Beyonce and Beyonce was the little superstar in our city. So I took them to counseling so that the counselor could help Beyonce be more sensitive to Solange because she couldn't stand her for a minute when they were little. But it made Beyonce more sensitive to who her sister was and what Solange had to deal with because of her. Luckily for Solange, she grew out of her troublesome days and and it was all thanks to her mom and no thanks to her dad because all he really cared for was making Beyonce a superstar even if it came at the expense of his other daughter's childhood. So I don't think it's all that surprising that she has had a good relationship with her mom, but she stays away from her dad. Anyway, as Solange grew, her relationship with her father changed, but it didn't exactly improve. By the time she was in high school, Beyonce's girl group, Destiny's Child, was already quite popular. The group was big and they were only getting bigger. Matthew was their manager and when Solange got to high school, Matthew decided to have her join Destiny's Child, but she Confused because she wanted to do her own thing instead. Uh, I always wanted Solange to be a member of Destiny's Child. She just never wanted to be one. At first, it felt like Matthew was trying to make her into another Beyonce, which didn't make it easier that she was also getting compared by outsiders as well. She addressed this in her song, God Given Name, where she said, I'm not becoming expectations. I'm not her and never will be. Two girls gone in different directions, striving towards the same galaxy. Let my starlight shine on its own. No, I'm no sister. I'm just my God given given name. She had been living in Beyonce's shadow for such a long time that it only made sense that she wanted to pave her way and go her own way. The music gene obviously ran in the family because she also decided to join the industry and become a singer. But when she wanted to start her career, her father did not take her seriously. Remember how Matthew gave Beyonce all the necessary support she needed in the early days of her career, to the point where he pretty much ignored Solange and left her feeling neglected? Well, he didn't exactly offer the same support to Solange when she started her career. Maybe he was too busy focusing on Beyonce and didn't have the time to manage another career. Maybe he didn't believe that Solange could hit it big in the industry. Or maybe he was just still salty that she refused to join Destiny's Child. We don't know why, but what we do know is that he didn't support her the way he supported Beyonce. People believe that this is the reason that Solange's career is not as big as Beyonce's. 
Now, don't get me wrong, Solange is doing well for herself. She has a great career and has won multiple awards, but Beyonce's career is way bigger and there are still people out there who only know Solange as Beyonce's sister, even though she is just as talented. Many people have said over the years that the only reason Beyonce is more successful is that her father put his all into her career. In fact, people have left comments about Solange being the more talented sister, saying stuff like, hot take. Solange better than Beyonce, I'm sorry. Solange makes better music than Beyonce. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say it, but Solange is infinitely more talented than Beyonce. Yeah, at this point, I think we're all starting to get a clearer picture of why she would hold a grudge. And let's not forget that this family tries to keep everything as private as possible, but when it comes to Matthew, he is always spilling major tea about their family and always revealing family issues that should have been kept in private. For example, do you remember the infamous elevator fight between Solange and Jay-Z? Well, after that happened, Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Solange released a statement saying, the most important thing is that our family has worked through it. Jay and Solange each assumed their share of responsibility for what has occurred. They both acknowledge their role in this private matter that has played out in public. They both have apologized to each other and we have moved forward as a united family. They didn't say more than that, but Matthew went on the Wendy show and he spoke about it. Beyonce's a very, very private person though. Uh, when you saw Beyonce, Solange and Jay-Z and, and the security in the elevator thumping, what was your reaction to that? I, I have to tell you, I laughed so hard. <laughs> Be, I laughed so hard because, you know, if you know Solange, that's the lunch. That's the lunch. You just never know what you're gonna cracker. get. Firecracker. Don't know where she get that from. <laughs> this was embarrassing for Solange because she hates it when people speak about her private business. So it makes sense why her relationship is not really balanced with her father. But to her credit, she did try to fix their relationship and make things better. She revealed in an interview that she had reached out to him saying, to sort out my adolescent and young adult years, there was still so much I needed to know because our relationship was not always very good. It's still very much a work in progress, but I think I have a much clearer idea of the trauma that he experienced and how it felt like it was then generationally passed on to me. Both kind of existing in the white spaces as an only and how much that can really shape and mold your experience of the world, race, and identity. So Matthew had a second chance, but he blew it again when he cheated on Tina. He had allegedly been cheating on her the entire marriage, but it got out of hand in 2009 when he was exposed for fathering a child outside their marriage with a woman named Alexandra Wright. Tina was heartbroken and filed for divorce, but she eventually decided to take him back. But less than a year later, he had another child outside of their marriage. Tina was done with him after that and she filed for divorce. And Beyonce and Solange also kind of divorced their dad in a way. If you get what I'm saying, they distanced themselves from him, especially Solange. She was just starting to fix things with Matthew, but he had hurt her mom and that was the final straw for her. However, it wasn't this one thing that made her finally snap because it was years of resentment that built up and exploded. It's been years since then and Solange is still holding on to the grudges because she barely acknowledges her father and once one is broken, it's never fixed in the same way again. I feel like Solange is determined to protect her peace, keep her distance from Matthew and hold on to the grudge until the end of time. But do you guys think that Solange is doing the right thing here or do you think that she should give Matthew another chance to prove himself and fix their relationship? Let me know what you think, then check out this next video.